Hey, howdy, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter, and I have an unboxing today. This is a giant box. It's huge, huge, I tell you. So I have my little bitty skithers. Yes, I call them skizzers too, right, right. We're gonna open this up. It comes to me from Amazon. So, sorry if I'm shaking you all about. We're just gonna do the hokey pokey for a minute. Right, right, right. And turn ourselves about. Or around, that's what it's all about. I, you know how the song goes. I don't know, apparently. Uh, but, let me, sorry if I'm shaking you everywhere, guys. Ooh. Look at that. Pretty. I love the box already. Hold on a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh, check it out. Nice. This is massive. Well, for me, it's massive. Let's see. I have my Amazon little thingy. Okay. Let me pull this out and get rid of this big old box here. Ooh. Okay, so this is an LED light pad, as you can see. Um, it is an A3 light pad, LED with USB, seven millimeters thin, adjustable brightness with cable. Okay, so, Standard Direct contacted me recently and wanted to know if I would like to do an unboxing of their A3 light pads on my channel. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Um, for one, the light pad that I use, oh, I'm gonna grab it, is this one. And it's an A4, is that it? Is that what the, is A4 the smallest? I think so. Um, but this is one that I've used for a long time. And um, it's actually started, like if I move it a certain way where the cable is, the cable is in, but for whatever reason, I think it's getting a short in it because it wants to flicker sometimes. And I'm like, ooh. Or if I move it, it'll like turn off. So, and I do depend on my light pad. For those of you who depend on light pads, you know how it is, right? Oops little clip and there's another little clip and another one <laughs> and another one and then we have a cable and oh Nelly oh Nelly and we have a little card here Let's see if that's it yes Big old box. Okay, so we have a card here um, that is uh, basically from them, just a customer service card. And then we have the styrofoam corners here that I will pull off. Okay, and let's take a look. Okay, it's wrapped on the back in this like styrofoam paper sheet thing. Ooh, it's got nice big feet on it. I like big iPads or iPads, light pads and I cannot lie. So we'll turn it this way because the power button is right here. Um, okay. Comes with little instruction sheet, I'm assuming. What? Why is it called A3 Woodpecker Series? <laughs> Woodpecker, what in the world? Uh, so it gives the dimensions, setup and operation. It says remove light tracer from box and protective sleeve. Place the tracer on a dry flat work surface. Connect to power and only use when cord is unfolded. Click turn on, off and dimmable one step by step. Each turn on, have memory for last set brightness. Handle with care, don't use sharp metal objects, only use on safe, stable work surface. Warranty voided if tampered with. Okay. So, I'm assuming these clips are to keep your like diamond painting on, which is handy dandy. 
okay, and we will unwind the cable. And I will um, compare the, okay, so it comes with a cord, but you need a USB plug um, to plug it into your power source. So let me grab that. BRB. Okay, now I'm gonna pl plug it in. Hold on, let me move this at an angle that is satisfactory. Plug it in right here. It's got your power cord there. That goes into this little piece right there. I don't think you can see it, but there it is. Let's see if I can get it to focus right there. Okay. in. Now let's compare sizes. Um, first of all, like I said, this is my A4. Okay. And this is the A3. And I'm just going to put this corner to corner or not corner to corner, but set it here in the corner. So you can see how much bigger it is than the A4 is. Okay. So that's a good comparison sake so, or a good comparison um, if you turn it up this way, it literally is the same, um, from top to bottom. So it's basically like double the size and width. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's close. It's double pretty much in my opinion. Um, so that's nice. And it has, this has a different feel to it. Like it has a different, this is very like slick feeling um and this is very like um like you can't see the glare in it from the window like you can this you see what i'm saying so it has it's not as slick of a finish um which is fine it, it feels nicer it feels more um better quality i guess is what i'm trying to say so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Now, just so I just so you know, one thing that I do is I, I keep my light pad plugged into a um, surge protector that has an on off button. And I keep it plugged in here at this part here. I keep that plugged in all the time. I used to unplug it and plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, plug it in whenever I would start and stop diamond painting. And now I don't do that anymore. I just keep it in there because I've read that over time, the taking it in and out will kind of like wear those little connectors off or whatever. And it makes it um, so that that connector won't stay where it's supposed to. Um, so I'll just keep mine plugged in. And then whenever I'm done diamond painting, then I'll turn my power surge protector thing off and it shuts the power off to this. Okay. Okay. That will help with the wear and tear of the plug-in cord. Let's go ahead and turn this bad mama jamma on. Ready? Ooh. So I just touch it and it comes on. Touch it again and it goes to another brightness. Touch it again and it will blind you. And then off. So so we have three different brightnesses. One, two, three off. Now, um, I like that because with this one, whenever I would turn it on, I would have to hold it to get it to come like all the way to like the highest brightness that it would come go to. And then I would have to hold it and it would lower it like a, like a, kind of like a volume button, but for brightness, it would, you know, adjust all the way um and this you just hit it one two three times and it's on and then one more time and it's off so if you work with it on the lowest setting which is here and you want to turn it off i don't know if you hold it if it'll turn off or if you actually it looks like you're gonna have to tap it 
So if you're working there, say you work here diamond painting on the lowest setting, I never use the lowest setting. I usually always use medium or high, the highest or medium setting. So if you're diamond painting on the lowest setting and you're ready to turn it off, then just hit it three times until it goes off. Easy peasy. Now this has centimeters here, which is pretty cool. If you're, um, oh, that has inches this way and Okay, so we have centimeters going down this way and this way, and then we have inches coming down this way and across this way. So that's pretty cool. It is um, uh, like 12 by 16 and a half or something like that. Um, so that's pretty cool, especially if you like to like measure your um, diamond paintings, like smaller ones, just for whatever reason. Um, I mean, I know there are other reasons for that, for the prop, for other type of crafts, what that's for, you know, versus, um, diamond painting. But, uh, I think that that is it. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how it works. I guess I could get a diamond painting out, lay it on there and let you see. That would be beneficial, right? So I just kitted this one up. Um, so you, the cool thing is, is you can turn this and it won't let me because my cord is like reached its, it has no more slack in the cord. So, um, so I'll turn it sideways so that you can see. I really want to get one of those covers that covers this so that I don't keep, you know, accidentally touching it. But So that's on medium. Okay, let's turn it off first. Oops, oops, okay. We're off, it's on off. Let me push you down a little further here. Try to get that glare out of the way. Okay, so that's off. Here's on low, okay. Here's on medium. And then here's on high. That is bright. Let me put you down in two here so you can see. Off again. Me low, medium, high. Hi, how you doing? All right. So I think that's a pretty good comparison. I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I'm excited about using it because here's the thing that I always have to do. Like, let me move this out of the way just so I can show you guys, <laughs> which I know that you guys do it too. And it's not really been a problem, but now that I have a bigger one, I'm like, ooh, yeah. So I have my light pad here and I'm working on this one. And it's even way more difficult when you have a big giant canvas that you're working on. But, you know, it's like you have your light pad on under here and then you're constantly like having to move it move your painting over or move, slide your, you know, your slide this under it around where you need it to get, you know what I'm saying? But which no doubt I will have to do that with this one as well when I'm working on big ones. Um, but yeah, um, definitely way more and it's double the size. So all right, that is it though. I thank you guys for watching and, um, please make sure to um, check the description box. I will have this light pad from Santa Direct linked in the description box below. It is on sale. Not positive what the price is, but I'm thinking it was in the $30 range on sale. Um, so yeah, I will leave that linked down below. You can have it if you need one, grab it um, at a discounted price. So. All right, that's it. You guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. I'm gonna go diamond paint.